please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. So, they finally sent someone. Ten years. That's how long I've been warning the Order about what is happening in Mithros. Ten years. And what did they do? Nothing. Now Telogris has risen, and the rest of us race to keep Amalur from falling apart. Agarth, I didn't expect to see your face again. Not after what happened. I'm still not sorry. I couldn't agree more. Thanks to the Order's hesitance, we are already falling behind. The timetable is short. As his influence rises unabated, the Niskaru will keep coming, endless and merciless. I am devising a plan to challenge him, but I will not succeed without your help. Telogras may be the god of chaos, but that is only in Ishara. Here, he is but a man, a spirit in a stolen body. Let me see it. Ah, of course. I know this blade well, because I crafted it. A chaos sword. My own invention. Ugly, but elegant in its own terrible way. I last saw this weapon in the hands of one of my apprentices. I often brought my apprentices with me into the chaos realm. It was foolhardy, and several paid with their lives. Sadly, Weapons like this are all that remain of those loyal friends. Since then, I've been unable to reach the Chaos Realm again to procure the necessary metals. You'll need to master Chaos, its weapons, its magic, if you expect to face Telogris. Come, bring the sword, and I will show you. Hello, my friend. Take this. The Chaos Flame. I stole it from Ishara with my own hands, sacrificing my greatest tools to ensure Telogris's destruction. Use that forge. Bring the flame that'll be Telogris's undoing. Only I could have done it better. You may be faithless, but you still have much to learn. About magic, about war with Telogris. I will now repair the sword for you. Or do you want me to forge it into a different weapon instead? From this core, I could also create a staff or daggers. Understood. I will begin forging your weapon at once. Is your weapon. Keep it close. Only those weapons forged in chaos magic will be of any use to you against our new enemies. Thousands of years ago, the first Niskaru hunters weaponized chaos magic. Swords, shields, hammers, armors. All the martial equipment used by mortals. It is the only way for us to stand a chance against Telogris's brood. Wait, what was that? Ah, it seems we have some unwanted guests in the forge. Stay close. Miss Garu, 
Sometimes they find their way in as sneaky little demons. They're nearly indestructible. Unless you know how to get past the defenses. Your chaos weapon will make short work of them. Hello, Ryan. Your ordinary weapons are no use against... Chaos defenses. Your chaos weapon is working. Now finish them off. You're a good fighter and a quick study, but you have a long way to go before you master chaos magic. The forge is defended by numerous barriers and defenses, but still, they find us. I worry about the future. Enough about that. I will handle your chaos training, and the chaos creatures will keep your combat skills honed. We have much to do. You're one of the final pieces in my plot to thwart to Logris, and I will need your help assembling the rest. A sage crafter named Callan MacLeod has made a great discovery. I've seen it in my readings. He's on the verge of using chaos magic and sage crafting, but he may not live long enough to do it. You have to find him and bring him here. That's your mission. That rusty sword you brought with you. You found it in the Chaos Realm, didn't you? Tell me, Fateless One, what else did you see in that cursed landscape? Yes, I call it a Chaos Node. And I believe its purpose is to ensure the dungeon's integrity. Even more important is what's contained within them, a magical substance dubbed Chaos Matter. Chaos Matter is vital to defeating Telogris, and the only way to obtain it is to destroy and harvest these Chaos Nodes. Chaos Weapons can be forged from Chaos Matter, and these enchanted weapons may be the only thing that can harm Telogris. When I forged your new weapon, I did so by extracting Chaos Matter from that broken sword you found in the Chaos Realm. Unfortunately, it was rusty and impure which greatly limited what I could produce from it. If you bring me pure Chaos Matter, obtained directly from a Chaos Node, I can forge any kind of Chaos Weapon Core you wish. If you're not in a hurry, I suggest giving it a try before continuing with your mission. Farewell. I must discover the secret to sage crafting with chaos magic. Farewell.
touch him. Haven't you done enough? I'd take a blade to every one of you, but it wouldn't do any good. Not with your protection. <sighs> you disgust me. If only that were true, it shouldn't surprise me at all. The preordained would kill anyone, even a sweet old crafter like him. Not like you've ever needed a reason to murder. Bloody animals. Well, you don't look like one of them. You lack the sign of fateful, the scar marking each convert. Hmm, perhaps I should believe you. Trust? <laughs> Imagine that in Crownhold. Tell me, stranger, what do you see when you look inside our workshop? What does Master McLeod reveal to us from beyond the grave? Good riddance. Yes. Let me see that. Do you know what this is? These scratches. This script. It's old Matharan. No one has used this language in over 500 years. What was the master doing with these writings? Unfortunately, no. There are only a few scholars with that specialized knowledge. Many of them have died or been killed in recent months. But I know one, old Tormin. He may be able to help. I can take you to him. But I can't make any promises for Tormin. <laughs> He's a crazy old wizard. See you. Is it? I'm a very busy man. I... Mina? Who are you? And why are you here with my daughter? What have you done? Interesting. May I see them? Careful now. Yes, I recognize these notes. Callan brought them to me several weeks ago. They describe a relic, a forger's instrument. Arathi smiths are legendary for their peculiar methods of crafting and shaping, but most of their tools are lost to us. This passage describes the location of one of these tools, Synox Eye, an enchanted gem or relic of some sort. If you intend to seek Synox Eye, you will need to be careful. If the preordained are looking for these pages, they will be looking for you. I implore you, for your sake and for the sake of my daughter, give it to them. They will see reason. They will not harm you. It's the only way. Come what again. Do you want?
How wonderful. We're all making new friends. Fadeless one, you are certainly finding yourself in some interesting situations. It's almost as if you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Too bad you can't trust old Tormund. The old fool knows better than to lie to our Chaos Lord. Can't say the same for his daughter. I beg to disagree. We cannot allow such a powerful artifact to fall into your hands. Ownership can be a tricky thing. Changes in the blink of an eye, in the release of an arrow, in a last breath. over to those savages how could anyone do that to keep me safe maybe but at what price did he even realize they would kill me that he'd sealed my fate with his betrayal I guess none of us are spared such a reckoning how can I return to Crownhold like this to Gale Crossing the master dead my father, an informant, and a liar. Where is the future for me here? I must think about my next moves. My whole life has been turned upside down. It's all too much to comprehend. Dad, the preordained. Master McLeod, you have been kind to me, stranger, and more patient than I deserve. But it's time that we parted ways. The next chapter of my life awaits, and I have a lot to think about. <laughs> it's terrifying, really. You must get Sinox Eyes someplace safe. Not a bad idea. Crownhold will need a new Sage Crafter. Though I'm a long way from becoming a master. We all start somewhere, I suppose. I can keep up the old man's legacy. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Maybe our paths will cross again. Bye. Thank Mitharu. I was beginning to worry. I couldn't bear the anguish of losing another. Not after Wolf. I heard about Callum McLeod. It's a pity. He was a kind, gentle man, and he will be missed. So, what has he brought us? Fascinating. This instrument may be the key to unlocking chaos in sage crafting. Use it on my altar and see what happens. Goodbye.
Losing McLeod was a tragedy, but his sacrifice wasn't in vain. With the ability to combine gems and chaos weapons, we can bring the fight to Tologris for the first time. But only if you're feeling ready for it. I must be honest. Your current chaos weapon won't be a match for Tologris. But there is a way to change that. It seems paradoxical, but the influence of the Chaos Realm itself is what hinders their potential. So you must find Chaos portals and close them. However, the weapons won't reach their new potential right away. You need to salvage and reforge them first. Don't worry, Chaos weapons are tough. No matter how often you salvage them, you will always retain the necessary weapon's core. Travel across Armalur and close Chaos portals, and then salvage your weapons and recraft them. Only then will you possess Chaos weapons powerful enough to face Telogris, God of Chaos. If that's too much work, ask my apprentice Jock. He could certainly use the practice. Of course, you will probably achieve the best result if you do it yourself, but if you're too lazy to do your own work, that's your decision. What do you say? Care to test your mettle against my Chaos Beasts? They've been hungry for their chance. Goodbye.